Hi guys, uh, Tech Tips 9001 here. And I've noticed this increasing, and I don't understand where it's coming from, but it seems to be that more and more routers, or wireless access points, or access points in general, just aren't giving out DHCP addresses properly. So it's probably important you know how to configure the addresses yourself if it ever comes down to it where you need to. So first, you would need to go into your router settings and you need to turn off DHCP. This tells your router to not act as a DHCP router, a server. It doesn't give out addresses and it won't handle any of the authentication, okay? Now, now that it's not doing it automatically, you need to go set it yourself. And in Windows 7, you do that from the start Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Local Area Connection. In Local Area Status, you'll select Properties. You'll go down and you will find Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP slash IP Version 4, V4. You'll, you'll click properties. You'll click use the following IP address and you'll enter it in as follows. You'll enter it in like that. That is a that is a default private IP address. It's not internet routable. That is the default subnet mask. That is the default gateway. That tells my computer how to get to my router. So this is my IP address, this is my network mask, my subnet mask, and this is the default gateway. This tells my computer how to get to the router. The router that knows how to get to the internet. And I don't, off the top of my head, know the DNS servers, so we'll just use the Google public ones. And there you go. My computer is now no longer set up to automatically obtain a DHCP address. It is now set up to use this address by default. It'll automatically use this address. I've manually entered it. If all the information is entered correctly, the internet will work. I'll be able to get anywhere I need to go. Now I already know this is going to work, and since my internet works fine, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave that stuff automatic, but it's important you know how to get here. So let's run through this one more time just to make sure everyone's got it, right? Taskbar. This bar that comes up is the taskbar. I have it on auto hide. That is an option under here and properties. See? Auto hide. I can hit that and it'll show it all the time. But I like it to auto hide. Start. The big windows logo control panel network and internet network and sharing center local area connection then you'll click properties right here under where it shows all this all the data you all the data you re received and sent you'll then select TCP IPv4 internet protocol version 4 You'll click properties and you'll click use the following and you'll enter in what you need to enter mine was from my network it won't necessarily work for yours certain routers use different default gateways but this is changeable it's in your modem settings if you follow the manual you can't go wrong this has been tech tips 9001 and i'm out